Hi, welcome. In this video, I'm going to give a short introduction to SPSS. After starting SPSS, this is the screen that you'll see. This screen is basically the spreadsheet part of SPSS and it is called the data view. You can enter data in here just as you would in Excel. But that's probably where the similarities end. Data entry in SPSS is less flexible compared to Excel. The columns in SPSS are the variables and the rows are the cases. You can only enter data in the cells and data can be numbers or strings, but you cannot enter formulas. Let's enter some numbers. Like this. You can see that when we enter data, SPSS created a variable in the first column called variable 00001. I just entered six numbers, so we have six cases. This is all happening in the data view tab, as we can see below. In the data view, we enter the data and we can manipulate the data. Of course, we do not always want to start by entering our data. If we load data from a file, the data will appear in the data view as well. Next to the data view tab is a second tab called variable view. In the variable view tab, we find an overview of all variables in the data view. Since we only have one variable, we only find the variable VAR00001. We can change this name in the variable view. Let's change it into Y. What else is there to see in the variable view? For each variable we can see the variable properties. For instance, what is its type? Well, this one is numeric, but there are other options. How many decimals do we want to see in the data view? Our variable has two. We can also give the variable a label. When we give a variable a label, the label will be used in output and no longer the variable name itself. This can improve the readability of your output. In the field values, you can assign labels to specific values in your data. For instance, 1 equals yellow, 2 equals blue, 3 equals green, etc. This also helps readability. Once you have data in the variable view, you can start doing analysis on your data. Data manipulation and statistical analysis can be done in two ways. You can either write commands and have them executed by SPSS, like a programming language, or you can use the menu bar with a series of follow-up menus to achieve the same goal. For this clip, we will use the menu bar. Under File, you can find options such as New, Data, or Open, Open, Data, which allows you to load previously saved data. Files that were saved by SPSS have the extension .sav. Suppose that for our data we wish to get some descriptive statistics. We may want to know the mean, the standard deviation, and maybe the minimum or maximum value. To do this using the menu structure, we go to the menu Analyze. Next we choose Descriptive Statistics. And next, Descriptives. You can see that some of the menus have several submenus. When we click Descriptives, we see another menu popping up where we need to pick a variable or several variables for which we want to see the descriptives. Since we only have one variable, we'll pick that one. Under Options, you can specify other things you may want to get for the descriptives output. Let's pick um, Variance. We can now press Continue and OK. What happens next is that SPSS opens another window 
the so-called SPSS viewer. All output, be it generated by menus or the syntax, the programming part of SPSS, will be shown in the SPSS viewer. For our small example data set, we can see that the mean is 35.5583 and the standard deviation is 30.55366. Well, you've reached the end of this clip. I think you're ready to set your first SPSS steps yourself.